Technology has changed the way we communicate, the way we work, and the way we live our day-to-day -day lives. But what if I were to tell you that technology is going to disrupt the way we move? The image you see was taken a few months ago when Virgin Hyperloop achieved its first passenger test. And I happen to be the very first passenger. For those of you who don't know, Hyperloop is a mass mobility system that is combining software and hardware to transform the way we think about travel. In the same way that the plane, train, and car revolutionized the world over a century ago. The garage, that whiteboard you see in the picture, that's where I drew the first renderings of what would become the world's first Hyperloop. So much was going through my head during that ride back in November. It was exhilarating. It was surreal. It was unlike anything I could have imagined. But one thing in particular really stood out to me. I knew that by the time my two-year-old son is old enough to drive, he really won't have to. He'll be able to hop on a Hyperloop and get wherever he needs to go at the speed of a plane, safely, comfortably, with the on-demand convenience of a metro and without destroying the world around us. Now, I don't have to tell this group that a great idea is nothing until you act on it. When action is combined with innovation and inspiration, amazing things can happen. You can build something of value out of nothing. Today, I'm here to tell you that I rode a Hyperloop, and I want you to ride one too. But first, let's go back in time for a minute. The Romans built roads that enabled goods and ideas to flourish for centuries. The Spanish galleon spurred an era of exploration that changed the face of the world. And air travel upended the concept of distance and time. Trips that used to take days now could be traveled in hours. Civilization has moved forward as we've moved faster. But when you think about it, the infrastructure we use today was built for a world as it was 60, 100, 150 years ago. We have not had a new form of mass transit for over 100 years. And the systems we all use, freeways, metros, flight paths, were built for the 20th century. And we're seeing the limitations. If we want a mass transit system, for the next millennium, we have to break away from the confines of the past and build one from the ground up that will be more cost efficient, faster, and better for the world around us. Time is our most precious resource and one that we don't ever seem to have enough of. There's nothing worse than getting stuck in traffic, having your flight canceled, or missing a train. Or how about a massive storm? that shuts down roads and subway systems. Half a day, an entire day, just wasted. Now imagine if you could go from New York to Washington DC in the time it takes to get from the Lower East Side to Uptown Manhattan. Hyperloop will change the way we think of time and distance, where we live and work, how often we get to see our friends and family. It combines the best of all modes of transportation, the speed of a plane, the on-demand convenience of a metro, the efficiency of an electric car, and it's affordable and safe. Most of all, it will give us our time back. This is what I consider the mobility system of the future. Now, as an engineer, I love to tackle big problems. I've been known to geek out on technology probably too much at times. So bear with me here while I explain why Hyperloop is also the solution to tackle our climate crisis. Hyperloop is 100% electric, and because it runs in an enclosed tube, there are zero direct emissions. This would significantly cut air pollution. Here's an example. A Hyperloop system connecting my hometown of Pittsburgh to Columbus, Ohio, all the way to Chicago, would reduce greenhouse gas emissions 
by 2.4 million tons. Let me give you a visual. That's enough to fill almost 1,500 hot air balloons. How? Our tube structure sucks out the air to the equivalent of 200,000 feet, allowing us to go the speed of a plane, but with a fraction of the energy usage. We are also energy agnostic, meaning we can use the power of the sun to transport millions every year, or any other type of clean energy, like wind or hydrogen power. Not only that, but we have a small physical footprint. Besides being more sustainable, we are also operationally efficient. Think of it this way. The digital revolution put information at your fingertips. Hyperloop will do that for transportation. On demand and direct to destination, Hyperloop will be the fastest mode of transportation from the moment you think about going somewhere until you get there. It's a system built with the future in mind. And this is where it gets interesting. If you expected to hear about a faster train, you've come to the wrong place. Powered by a software-based fleet management system, autonomous electric vehicles called pods are digitally linked together to form convoys to move masses. Think more along the lines of autonomous vehicles in a dedicated lane versus a physically connected train car. Your pod, carrying you and 27 other passengers, veers off from the others, like a car exiting a freeway, and stops where you want to exit. This type of system is built upon a future-proof design philosophy that can be summarized in four words. Smart vehicle, dumb road. To illustrate, a Model T and a Model 3, light years apart in design and technology, can ride on the same road. Similarly, Hyperloop is designed as a smart pod and a dumb tube. The Hyperloop infrastructure we build today will be ridden for decades, even 100 years from now, by pods that evolve technologically with the trends and advances of the third millennium. It's one of the safest transit systems, too. Because it's enclosed in a tube, you won't have animals, cars, or people crossing the track. We mitigate the chance for human error because the whole system is controlled autonomously through software. In short, safety, modularity, clean energy, smart technology. These are the markers of a 21st century mass transit system. No other mass transit system has all of this. And it's because innovation was followed by action. At this point, you may be thinking this is all well and good, but when will I see it in real life? Now that Hyperloop has been written, the next step is commercializing this system. Our company, our partners around the world are working hard to make this happen. In fact, we want to have systems up and running by the end of this decade. The world needs efficient, clean, mass transport systems, and we are building it. So to wrap up, I want to take you back to those early days in the garage, pulling long hours, day, night, looking to design a Hyperloop system that can scale. Well, the hours haven't changed, it's incredible to think in the six short years, that sketch on the whiteboard became something I could see and touch and ultimately ride, which is a great reminder of what happens when innovation and inspiration meet action. Humankind is here because we decided to get up and move. Hyperloop exists because an idea that began on a whiteboard was developed, built, tested, and ridden. Those are all action words. We need to be bold. We need to make changes. We need to push humanity forward. I was the first person to ride on a Hyperloop, but we all fail if I'm the last. I'm not going to let that happen, and you shouldn't either. Take your ideas, your inspiration, and make them real. Pay it forward and support someone else's great idea. Whether you're in a garage or in a high rise, 
You could be the person who revolutionizes the world, but only if you act on it.